Welcome back, Magma Munchers. It's your favorite marketable plushie, Magma. Metal and Iron Leg is the combo my server vote for. I don't know why, they're just evil over there. Metal is a hard hitting magic, but it's slow as hell. And Iron Leg is another hard hitting fighting style, but it's also slow as hell. So when you combine the two as a Warlock, you end up with something that hits extremely hard but is extremely slow. Just to quickly show you my damage, I only have 75 power and with a fully charged iron leg metal imbued shot I do 296 damage with 14 bleed. And if I don't charge it up I do 222. And I can just spam this move as well. The build I'm using only has 105 attack size yet the attack size just feels extremely large. Holy crap, why is it so bright? Am I in heaven right now? Obviously, you get to choose between your iron leg, iron arms, and metal magic metal barriers for your dodge reflex. Metal magic metal barriers is, well, pretty self-explanatory. It's just these metal barriers. They kind of block your vision, and your attacks can get caught in them. Iron Leg Iron Arms is also pretty self-explanatory. It literally just makes your arms turn iron, or in my case, gold. Both of these dodge reflexes make you take reduced damage, so it's just preference which you want to use. I went with the Iron Arms because I don't like having my whole screen covered up by golden barriers. Oh my god, why is it actually so bright? The snow is actually glowing. <laughs> Anyways, this build is basically borderline brain dead it's that good it's such a basic combo combining metal with the metal leg fighting style yet it's basically overpowered with the aoe and damage you can do you'll see what i mean in the pvp clips this thing is just busted the clips were taken from my pvp stream not so long ago i'll leave it linked in the description below if you want to check it out for yourself in its entirety and with that all said just take a look at how busted this build really is. Oh. oh my days. <laughs> Let me use my focus, get my HP regening. You do kind of feel how slow it is in these actual hypermobile fights though. It's actually crazy this damage is doing as well. Where did bro go? Holy crap, I can't even see straight up. That is crazy. GG. Dragon Balls. How could I forget? I'm just doing side quests right now. So many explosion iron leg users.
Oh yeah, it doesn't <laughs> it doesn't go high anymore unless you're aimed. Oh, get get out Salino spammed, bro. No, you can't. Because if you're on three insanity, you're always gonna get the three insanity effects. Literally, it's not worth running insanity in your build anymore unless it's just one insanity to fill up a missing modifier slot. Just remember that. The damage is insane. If you get up close to this, you just get all your HP taken away from you. GG. It's like... Oh, that ain't, that ain't the person I'm fighting. Let me just quickly pull out one of those. And now we use resistance to regen. I might just swap to power resistance to really just piss people off with the DPS. Get that surge out of here, bro. What are you doing with that surge? I'm out of energy. I've been spamming abilities way too hard. What's up, bro? Let's <laughs> just fight. The quickest way to improve is just fight, literally, straight up. Is that a, is that a run from stuff? No. No, 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 no. What are you doing with that, bro? Get your ass back here. You think you can escape Goku after you just pulled out the sunken stuff? You think you can do that? Oh no! The light mage! I'm gonna have to fly swat you. Alright, that's it. Engage fly swat mode. That's not magic leap. Oh my days, snare really goes so crazy sometimes. You got that, you got fantastic positioning, Jesus Christ. GG. All right. Fly swap mode has been engaged. Get the energy back up. Nope. Get your ass back. Who else is back in the mine? Oi! Right, we got that attack size. Get your ass back here, boy. Think you can escape attack size? Nah. Consider yourself lucky if you think you can escape it. What? There's a row of pies! Who who placed the pies? Who did it? Oh, that's on cooldown. That is why. Get your ass back here, son. I think you can escape. Alright, let's play a little bit more smarter. 
And also just brain dead AoE spam, shall we? That is not beam. That is my blast. My blast was never going to hit that. It's too slow. GG. Oh. You sure you want to use that move? I think you want to use your claws around me, Candy. Holy crap, the amount of SFX. The amount of SFX. Whoa. Whoa. Bro got that Minecraft wooden armor. If that was a thing in Minecraft, of course. Darn, wooden pulsar. How, how are you still alive, my guy? How are you still alive, my guy? You blocked that. See like white. It. Oh my god, insane shots. Bro's, bro's playing a first-person shooter with this projectile speed. <laughs> well, as you just saw, 
Iron Leg and Metal Warlock is an extremely good class. If you want to copy my armor build, I will leave a link to an armor build website with this armor pre-filled out on it so you can see every gem, enchant and armor piece I'm using. If you want to copy my stat build, I'm 100 magic and 150 strength warlock. This build is just extremely easy to use and do well with, like honestly. Why go warrior and try land your musket shots or siren bow arrows when you can just go metal and iron leg warlock and do 10 times better with 10 times less effort, you know? The only downside of this build is it does feel extremely slow, but you only need around 100 attack speed to take away a lot of the end lag and input cast time. Not to mention that attack speed is one of the easiest stats to build in the entire game. You don't need much skill to do well with this build, so if you're looking for something easy to use that you can do well with, definitely consider using Iron Leg and Metal. But then again, if you use it, you're evil. Anyways, that's all for the video. Have a wonderful rest of your day, my fellow Magma Munchers. Like and subscribe.